Good afternoon, Yorktown. It's Supervisor Matt Slater coming to you with a town update from Town Hall. Last night's town board meeting was disrupted a bit by some technical difficulties, and so I wanted to make sure we got some important announcements out to everybody. I want to start with COVID. Uh, the good news is that our numbers are starting to come down here in the town of Yorktown, and I'm going to share my screen to make sure that everyone uh, is aware of the COVID-19 community dashboard, which continues to be updated and has some really important information for everyone uh, to utilize. Okay. And here you can see, again, we have our number of cases, our active cases, and uh, of course the cumulative. But the key here, again, is the graph, with the data, and it shows that we, once again, seems to have hit our peak and we have started to see a pretty steady decline. Uh, this is not just for the town of Yorktown, but this is for the entire region, uh, Westchester County and uh, the state of New York. So we're very, very happy to see us uh, on this back end of uh, a very dramatic, and as you can see there, intense uh, 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 curve that we were dealing with uh, because of the Omicron uh, variant. There's some really important uh, updates also on here that I want to make sure everyone is aware of. Uh, if you look over here to this uh, left side of, uh, of the screen, the uh, federal government is now allowing people to order free at-home tests. You can order one, you can make one uh, order per household of four free at-home tests, the link right there on the town's website. Additionally, uh, I was joined by the town board uh, yesterday as we announced the opening of the new free COVID-19 testing site, and that's right at Granite Knolls, uh, the, sport, the uh, sports complex off of Stony Street. Uh, you can register. The link to register to make your appointment is right on the town's COVID-19 dashboard. Uh, this is it right here. When you go to your, your location, uh, you will click the Mohegan Lake location. Uh, and then you'll be able to drive up and drive through while receiving a test. Uh, this is in partnership with Ridgewood Labs. It is a PCR test, uh, and then you get a response back from the labs via text and email. Uh, once it's processed, we're hearing it's about 48 to 72 hours at this point in time. Uh, at, yes uh, at yesterday's vaccine clinic, it was our 68th vaccine clinic. Now I just wanna show our next one right here. Uh, we, have our, we have our 69th vaccine clinic coming up and our 70th vaccine clinic cl coming up on the 25th and the 27th. Uh, you can book your times here and here for the 25th and the 27th. Any, any questions you may have, please email vaccine at yorktowny.org. These are booster vaccines, uh, again, Pfizer and Moderna, that we continue to offer here in the town of Yorktown. And I really want to thank our staff who've uh, really done a great job uh, getting these together for everybody in the community and beyond. Uh, to date, we've estimated that we've serviced more than 5,400 people through our vaccine clinics. So an incredible tribute uh, and, and effort by our staff, making sure that those continue to work. Just quickly, a, a couple of other announcements that we wanted to make sure people were aware of that we tried getting out during last night's town board meeting. Uh, the library, John C. Hart Memorial Library, is launching their hotspot lending program on January 28th. Uh, we had our library uh, director, Yvonne Check, uh, provide a great update and a great vision for the future of the John C. Hart Memorial Library. Unfortunately, due, due to the due to the technical uh what that is. But due to the technical uh, troubles that we were having, uh, uh, we want to make sure that people get a full understanding and, and, and are able to view the full presentation. So Yvonne's going to be joining me uh, later this week uh, for a very specific update just on the John C. Hart Memorial Library so that we can provide all that information uh, to all of you as well. Let's see. We also had uh, info. We got word from the Department of Transportation. A lot of our residents have been asking for a pedestrian crossing at the intersection of 118 and Downing Drive. 
uh, DOT, uh, we have to go through DOT since the state road to approve that uh, pedestrian crossing. Uh, they've continued to deny our request, but they have agreed to put uh, trailway crossing signs in both directions on Route 118 to this to uh, warn, uh, 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 excuse me, to warn vehicles as they're driving down 118 on, in both directions uh, that there is a trailhead uh, in the vicinity. So we are trying to make that a more, uh, I think, pedestrian friendly and safe area for people to utilize that trailway. Uh, again, want to thank all of the folks involved in making that happen. I really want to thank also uh, the Yorktown Somers Interfaith Council, Rabbi Robbie Weiner of Temple Beth Am and Trissy Cody of Alliance for Safe Kids. Uh, we put together a wonderful uh, Martin Luther King Day of Service ceremony. It's our second annual. Uh, that's currently playing on the government access channels and it's available on uh, the town's YouTube page. Uh, it was fantastic because we were able to bridge the gap of uh, hearing from our town historian, Alice Roker, who has provided a tremendous account of the impact that Dr. King had on her life, and also hearing from the youth of our community. And it was a, it was a great ceremony and a great bridge to see that Dr. King's uh, lessons and Dr. King's efforts and, and his vision uh, remain very much alive today uh, as they were while he was with us. And so uh, again, to all those who made the ceremony possible, uh, a big thank you from the town of Yorktown, and I encourage everyone to watch it and listen to these young people, these young leaders in our community. Uh, they are incredible, and, and, the, and the insight they provided uh, really was uh, inspiring. So to all those who participated, thank you. Our highway department is starting to get pretty busy. Uh, I want to thank the highway crews and our highway superintendent, Dave Paganelli. Uh, they had a difficult storm uh, earlier in the week, as we know. Uh, it was a, mostly an ice situation. Uh, they were out for almost 24 hours straight, uh, trying to treat the roads, uh, salt, scrape, uh, do some plowing, and then having, go, having to go back out uh, because we had a freeze uh, Monday night as well. And so the, the salt trucks were back out again. Uh, but to our highway superintendents and to our, all of our, our crews who are out treating the roads, thank you very much for, for all you do for our residents. And, and I know that this Wednesday, we're expecting uh, another bout of rough weather Wednesday into Thursday. Uh, so again, we're going to provide more information uh, as, uh, as we get it, uh, but please be ready for a bit of a rough commute Thursday morning. We've had several retirements here uh, at, uh, in town government, uh, people who have dedicated decades to the town of Yorktown, and I really want to take a moment to recognize them. Uh, Donnie Gaffney, uh, who's been in our central garage for more than 30 years, has uh, had retired. Uh, Kevin Alamonte of our refuse and recycling, dis uh, refuse and recycling department. Anita Hecker of our Parks and Rec Department, and Mike Mill of our Engineering Department. Collectively, we're looking at more than 100 years of service to this community. Uh, unfortunately, because of uh, virtual meetings, we haven't been able to uh, or we weren't able to have uh, these great employees here uh, with the town board in town hall uh, to recognize our service. But we do want to take a moment to thank them and wish them uh, the best of luck on the next chapter of their lives in their retirements and just know how much the town of Yorktown appreciates your service. At the last town board meeting, uh, we did renew the outdoor dining uh, and sidewalk sale permit process. I wanna thank Councilman Esposito uh, for taking the lead on that. So for any of those businesses that uh, had a outdoor dining permit um, last year, <clears throat> excuse me, or the year before, or a sidewalk sale permit, uh, please contact the building department. You can just renew those. There's no charge uh, because we wanna make sure that uh, we are supporting our businesses, our small businesses, uh, and making sure that they're able to accommodate the needs of, our, of their customers uh, as we bound from this latest COVID surge. Uh, as a reminder from our tax receiver's office, uh, taxes are due at the end of the month. The drop box is at the back entrance of Town Hall. So uh, for those who may not know, we've had a bit of an issue in the front of Town Hall. You cannot drive through the front because of an oil spill that occurred, uh, and we are working diligently to remedy uh, but the drop box has been relocated to the back of town hall. So if anyone's looking to drop off their tax payments, uh, they can do so there. You can also uh, pay online uh, for your taxes as well as your water bill. Uh, and you can do that right on the YorktownNY.org website. Also at a last town board meeting, uh, we gave our tax assessor, Kim Penner, the ability to re-enroll uh, taxpayers uh, who had an exemption uh, mostly our seniors and, and uh, our disabled uh, residents. Uh, if you had an exemption that you traditionally file for annually that you were enrolled in last year, 
you will be automatically enrolled in that this year. Uh, that was made possible by an executive order uh, from Governor Kathy Hochul. I mentioned uh, just a moment ago about the front entrance. Uh, so that construction is ongoing. I want to thank uh, Councilman Diana, our Deputy Supervisor, for spearheading that effort. Uh, we did have um, our oil tank, unfortunately, had uh, a significant leak that had to be removed. Uh, and so we are currently working with uh, the DEC and, uh, and several of our departments to remedy that situation as quickly as we can. Uh, we do uh, expect some of the construction material to be removed at some point next week. And we are working with Con Ed uh, to potentially uh, transition to natural gas for town hall heating, which would be a significant upgrade to our current system. Uh, we are anticipating opening town hall, hopefully, as long as the numbers continue to decline to, uh, to the public. Uh, and we're hoping to do that by the end of the month and we'll provide more information uh, as it becomes available. Again, uh, all being predicated off of the uh, off of the continued decline in COVID cases within our community. And lastly, we've gotten a great response from people who are looking to volunteer for the town. We have several positions on our volunteer boards that we're looking to fill. Uh, we are looking for resumes and cover letters, and we ask anyone interested to please submit those uh, to the supervisor at yorktowny.org email address by this coming Friday, uh, the 21st of January. We still have uh, openings on the Parks and Rec Commission the Planning Board, Conservation Board, the Tree Commission, and our newly formed Accessibilities Committee, which I'm very excited about. Uh, and so we are looking for interested, uh, uh, interested residents uh, who want to volunteer for the town uh, to please submit again to the supervisor at yorktowny.org email address, a resume and cover letter. Uh, it, this way we know what committee you are interested in serving on. And then there will be an interview process uh, that the board, the town board will undertake uh, in order to fill some of the vacancies that we have. Um, as always, we've uh, been very, I think, uh, committed to providing information regarding the COVID-19 pandemic and obviously other matters pertaining to town business. Uh, we're going to continue to do that. Uh, we're going to continue to provide uh, transparent, verified information that we believe is important for all of our residents to know. Uh, as always, if anyone has any questions regarding any town-related matters, please feel free to reach out to my office directly at 914-962-5722, extension 200. You can also email me directly at mslater at yorktowny.org. And as a reminder, you can always go to the town's website and you can find all the contact information for any member of the town board, uh, our town clerk, our highway superintendent, all of our elected officials are easily accessible and are always willing to help any of our residents uh, with any issue that, that they're dealing with. So. Uh, I wish everyone a, uh, a great week. Uh, we are here hard at work, uh, making sure town government continues to function and just wishing everyone uh, that you stay safe and stay healthy. And again, any new information that we get, we will absolutely update you on. So until then, we will talk to you soon. Thanks.